Hi, Commanders. Well, things might be somewhat quiet in the galaxy right now, it's only a matter of time when Thargoid infestations begin happening again. The Anti-Xeno Initiative Build Guide recommends using AX weaponry to make a scout hunter. Human weapons are also effective against Thargoid scouts, but to a lesser degree. How much less? To answer that question, I put the weapons head-to-head -head and got some data from the results. The ship I used was an engineered Crate Mark II. The only hard points that were active during this experiment are the three large ones on top of the ship. The two medium hard points were deactivated during the experiment. On board, I also had a decontamination limpet controller and limpets. The first weapon set that I used were three large turreted AX multi-cannons. They were set to target only. The second weapon set was three large gimbaled human multi-cannons. They've all been engineered to grade 5 overcharge with the oversized experimental effect. We know that gimbaled weapon and turreted weapons aren't exact comparisons, but there's no gimbaled anti-xeno multi-cannons, and they're fairly close as far as damage. An AX turreted multi-cannon does about 20.69 damage per second, and the gimbaled human does about 18.93 damage per second in its stock form. This G5 set does over 33 damage per second. Thargoid scouts are going to be resisting damage from the human weapons. The experiment is this. An instance of four Thargoid scouts was started. These were all from non-human signal source threat 4s. I then measured the time to kill each scout individually, the amount of ammunition expended to achieve the kill, and the total time it took to clear the instance of all four Thargoid scouts. I then repeated the experiment five times. I then swapped out the anti-xeno weapons and installed the G5 human multi-cannons to measure the same criteria, again, five times. The data shows how much more effective the anti-xeno multi-cannons are compared to the human counterparts, even with the best engineering they can get. The average time to kill a Thargoid scout with anti-xeno multi-cannons is 17.85 seconds, versus 48.95 seconds with grade 5 weaponry. The fastest anti-xeno kill was a scant 6 seconds, and the slowest kill was 34 seconds. With grade 5 engineered human multi-cannons, the fastest kill was 25 seconds, and the slowest was 82 seconds. Ammunition consumption measurements also showed a very large difference. The average AX multi-cannons take 62 rounds to kill a scout. The lowest consumption was 33 rounds, the highest was 115. For human grade 5 weaponry, the average ammunition consumption was 151.45 rounds. The lowest consumption was 86, the highest was 241. Please remember, this was three weapons firing at the same target simultaneously. Each one was expending this amount of ammunition. Lastly was the time to clear the instance. The anti-xeno weapons would clear a four-scout non-human signal source in an average of 105 seconds. The fastest recorded clearing was 89 seconds, the slowest was 114 seconds. The grade 5 weaponry would clear the same four-scout non-human signal source with an average time of 228.2 seconds. The fastest time to clear with this weapon set was 177 seconds, the slowest was 297 seconds. Great! So what does any of that mean? Let me give you a real game reason for using the anti-xeno weaponry. In an infestation that needs to have 2,000 scouts killed, clearing it would require 500 non-human signal sources in threat level 4 instances. This means it would require an average of 14 hours and 35 minutes of combined player hours of just shooting to kill the amount required to prevent a space station from being attacked. Using even the best engineered human weaponry, it would require 31 hours and 42 minutes of combined shooting for commanders to accomplish the same task. More than double the time. Other notes I took during the experiment that commanders wishing to go after the scout should know. With the anti-xeno loadout, I was able to complete all five of the Thargoid instances back to back with enough ammunition and hull left to easily take on another two or three instances. 
With the human G5 engineered weaponry, I had to stop after the third instance to dock for repairs and a reload. The big takeaway is this. If you want to have an easier time against the scouts, take the anti-Xeno weapons. If you're looking to clear an infestation, try to tell other commanders you see to use the anti-Xeno weaponry too. Fly safe out there,